Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here on my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this makeup look that I have going on right here. For this makeup look today, I'm going to be using the Zulu eyeshadow palette by Judy's Place. As you can see, it is a bright, vibrant eyeshadow palette. Palette. I think I used every single one of these shades except for the brown one here I just I don't know I wasn't sure how that one could fit into the look that I had I probably could have fit it in somewhere if I really tried but I was pretty happy with how everything else looked on my eyes and I didn't really feel the need for this brown here so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video honestly I am quite impressed with this eyeshadow palette in some ways and not impressed in some other ways I'm gonna be giving you my full thoughts and personal review on this palette at the end of this video but for now if you want to see how I applied this makeup look then just keep on watching before I go any further if you guys do enjoy my videos then please be sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday three times a week so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are live as peak eye without further ado let's get straight into this video First, I'm going to prime my eyelids with a Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I want one that is much too light for me because of the bright colors that I'm going to be applying on top. The lighter the base, the more vibrantly the colors that you apply on top will stand out. I'm going to set all of that down with my RCMA Translucent No Color Powder. Now going into the Zulu eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be taking the bright orange shade and applying this in my transition. I'm going to take that pink shade in a smaller tipped fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply this very tightly into my crease. Now taking the Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to go into this bright yellow shade here and apply that on the inner corners of my eyes. Taking some of that orange shade again and just reapplying that in my transition. Now taking a smaller tipped fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go into this purple shade here and use this to deepen out the outer corners of my eyes. Okay, I'm finding that the pigment is laying down nicer with my finger, then I'm going to blend it out with the brush. Right, this purple shade is a little bit patchy, actually a lot of it patchy. Hmm. It's just blending right off. You see that? It just blended right off. Okay, so it looks like we'll only be having a slight purple tinge to our look today. Nothing dramatically purple. That's a bit disappointing because it's such a pretty purple in the pan there. Right, now I'm going to give myself some major cut crease vibes using concealer and a tiny packing brush. Taking a packing brush, I'm going to go into this vibrant shimmery green shade and apply that on the inner corners of my lid. And now going into this shimmery teal blue sea blue sort of shade, it's a really pretty one. And I'm going to be applying this on the center of my eyelids. Just going back into that shimmery green shade and sort of lightly gradienting those two colors in together. Oh my God, these shimmers are gorgeous! Now going into this green shade, I'm going to be applying this on the absolute outer corners of my eyes. Okay, the fact that this purple isn't performing is kind of annoying me because I would really love some purple on this outer corner of my eye. Hmm. I'm just going to try again. I'm going to try and build that up. Yeah. 
just not sticking. Maybe my brush should be wet. Let's try that. Okay. That didn't do anything. Okay, I think I've found a dubious place eyeshadow dud. Never thought I would hear myself say those words, but that purple is shiite. I'm sorry. It's just not working for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this palette and that purple didn't work for you either. I can't believe how intensely bad it is. All right, I'm gonna go into this pink shade here and use that on the outer corners of my eyes instead. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my foundation base and I'll be right back. For bronzer, I'm using the Morphe bronzer in the shade of Vlogger. blush, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place blush in the shade Serafina. I'm going to go again into that yellow shade and reapply that on the inner corners of my eyes. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to take some of that pink shade and run that all along the lower lash line. Now I know I don't like this purple shade, but it's okay. It gives a little bit of a hue of purple, so I'm just gonna take some of that and apply that under where I apply the pink. I want to blend that one out a little further, so I'm, with no extra product, I'm going to go into that fine tipped fluffy blending brush again and just buff all of that out. I'm not gonna take my finger into the shimmery pink gold sort of shade here and apply this on the inner corners of my eyes on top of that yellow. That is pretty. Dang. I know it shows up pink in the pan, but it's applying really golden yellow almost. I want to use some of that as highlight. Not bad. It's not a bright sort of highlight. It's more of a shifty pink gold sort of highlight. It's really pretty though. Okay, now I can see on certain angles, I have that pink. And then other angles, I have the gold. That is so weird. You can see the pink shift here and the pink shift here. But here it looks gold, I think. This is such an intriguing palette. I'm wanting a little bit more of a, like a bright highlight highlight. So I'm going to go in with my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. And just hit the high points of my face with this one. Under the brows as well. I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, now I know for lips, the general rule of thumb is if your eyes have something really dramatic going on there, you apply a more neutral lip, but this girl don't follow no rules and I'm feeling a little bit bold today. So what I'm gonna do for lips is I'm gonna go in with an Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade New Orleans and as you can see, it's a vibrant purple shade. I think I'm just having purple withdrawals with how disappointed I was with that purple eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with that and then I'm going to layer over the top a Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It's more of a metallic one and this one's in the shade Utopia. Purple must be a really hard shade to formulate because I'm finding this purple one to be patchy as well. I mean, I can work with it. I've just sort of reapplied in areas. It's a problem. And I'm going over the top with that metallic liquid lipstick. I can't see that blue and green when my eyes are closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch up. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the look that I came up with with the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I did talk about a few things throughout the course of the video. Just to recap, I'm incredibly impressed and disappointed at the same time with this palette. The purple is just not good. Like, it gave me a bit of a hue of purple, but it didn't apply as vibrantly as it, the color looks in the pan. So if you wanted just like a soft shade or tint of purple, you could apply this, but the more I applied and blended, it would just come right off. Like, it wouldn't even stick. 
like it feels like there was absolutely no oil in this pigment and it just wasn't sticking to the skin. You can see a bit of purple there, but it is a little bit patchy if you look really closely. So don't look too closely. Everything else applied really beautifully. I found this green a little bit patchy as well, but not as bad as the purple. Everything else I was super impressed with. The first time I swatched this palette, the shades all felt like they were going to perform like the purple, like especially the matte ones. The shimmer ones are just like standard shimmery Juvia's Place shimmers like the best. I was a little bit skeptical about the matte ones. However, as you can see the yellow and the orange on my eyes is so vibrant and bright and so is the pink one there and I'm so impressed with how they applied especially because they are matte shades and the matte shades are a little bit harder to formulate as far as pigmentation goes because they don't have as much oils in them as a shimmery shade would. What else? Using this shimmery rose gold shade as highlight is really actually quite interesting. It's a different type of highlight than I would normally gravitate to but I'm actually not hating it. It shifts between pink and gold so it is actually quite different. Overall I do love this Zulu palette. It just really sucks that the purple one doesn't perform as I would like my eyeshadows too but I do understand that I think purple is quite a difficult shadow to formulate as far as pigmentation goes so I kind of maybe understand that. I also made up for it with my purple lipstick so not hating it at all. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Love that. I'm just gonna take some...